Hello, I'm Dan Williams, the Media Relations Director for the City of Cleveland, and this is the bottom line up front. Today, and over the course of the next couple of weeks, I want to discuss with you winter preparations. In this week's segment, we're going to discuss frozen water pipes. Because of the extremely cold temperatures last winter, numerous homes and businesses experienced frozen water lines and burst meters. Cleveland Water also experienced a record number of water main breaks and repairs due to the cold. As the winter season approaches, it is possible again this year for water lines to freeze, meters to burst, and breaks to occur. For property owners, frozen pipes and burst meters can damage property and be expensive to repair. Note that water lines and pipes on private property are the responsibility of the property owner to repair. These simple steps can protect your home and save you money. Disconnect and drain outdoor hoses to allow water to drain from the pipe. Otherwise, a single hard overnight freeze can burst either the faucet or the pipe it's connected to. Insulate pipes and faucets in unheated areas. For pipes in an unheated garage or a crawl space under the house, wrap the water pipes before temperatures decline. Hardware or building supply stores have good wrapping materials available. Seal off access doors, air vents, and cracks. Repair broken basement windows. Winter winds whistling through overlooked openings can quickly freeze exposed water pipes. Don't plug air vents that the furnace or water heater need for good combustion. Find and mark the master shutoff valve. Most likely, it's where the water line comes into the basement or crawl space from the street. If a pipe bursts anywhere in the house, this valve can turn off the water and help limit further damage. Next, Leave a pencil lead thin stream of water flowing during cold spells to help prevent faucets or water service lines from freezing. If freezing temperatures cause a frozen water line, water should be turned off at the master shutoff valve to limit damage. The best course of action is to contact a plumber or a private contractor to thaw the lines and make repairs. Again, frozen pipes on private property are the responsibility of the property owner, so helping to spread the word about prevention is greatly appreciated. If the meter freezes, it can cause flooding and the meter will need to be replaced before water service can be restored. Also, please note, there is a charge associated with having to replace a meter. For more information, visit the website on the screen and look for Cleveland Water on Facebook and Twitter. For Cleveland Water customer services, call 216-664-3130. For a water emergency, call Cleveland Water's 24-hour emergency line at 216-664-3060. The bottom line, disconnect outside hoses and drain the pipes on the outside of your homes. Insulate pipes and faucets in unheated spaces. During extremely cold snaps, keep a pencil lead sized stream flowing on your faucets to prevent frozen pipes. Find and mark your water main shutoff valve. Seal off access doors, air vents, and cracks. And for a water emergency, remember to call 216 664-3060. I'm Dan Williams, and this has been The Bottom Line, up front.